Today I'm going to show a update on my uh, transistor-based Royer oscillator circuitry. I have wound a ferrite core high-frequency transformer over here. It is a step-up transformer. I have over there a high uh, voltage capacitor in line with the output. I am driving it on this battery, but since this battery is a little bit old, it doesn't hold charge very well. I have it connected on an adapter on the wall over here. The volt is now 15 volts, which will drop when I load the system, of course. Um, this meter here is on the output AC that is coming from the transformer and going to these four lamps in parallel. What this capacitor does is like now it is being bypassed so it's basically not in the system the system will run at 600 milliamps and the output will be around 48 volt ac when i remove this clip over here and introduce a capacitor you will see that the output will be around 50 volt ac which is around two volts more on the output and my 600 milliamps will go lower to 400 milliamps so what this capacitor does it's helped me to go 30% uh, lower on my input draw and a little bit high on the output gonna start it up use a lead as you can see this is running now on 13.8 and maybe decreasing a little bit at 600 milliamps Output is 48 volt EC on the lights. Gonna remove the capacitor. Sorry, removing the lead with introduce the capacitor in the system. And as you can see, the voltage is now 49 or 50 volt AC output. And the input milliamps went from 600 to 400. So I'm saving like 30% here. 33.333 percent to be exact on the input milliamps and gaining a little bit on the output and also transform is making a lot more noise with the capacitor in the system and the lights in the dark yeah it's pretty awesome as you can see there's my other pulse motor being lit up pretty good indeed like I said, it's just a simple update, so I will suggest anyone to use capacitor on the output, because it really does help a lot. It does make the transformer make more noise, but that doesn't matter because it does make it a lot more efficient, 200 milliamp less. Any transformer does not get hot at all not even warm the heat sinks are cold so that's nice nice high frequency square wave yeah inverter you can call it or oscillator whatever anyway I'm gonna put back the clip when I do that that means that the capacitor is being bypassed is no longer in the system when I do that you will the squeaking noise of the transformer will go away that 51 will drop to around 74 and this 400 milliamps will go up to 600 again removing the capacitor from the system now as you can hear nice and silent there's the output around 3 volt less and the input now is 600 milliamps 200 milliamps more so yeah I will keep I will definitely keep this capacitor in the system and for this squeaking transformer yeah you can always buy not buy make a small box with some isolation foam in it and no problem there anyway and by the way I haven't stopped working on this boost motor with testing the cause but I had a little small accident 
not accident actually I completely burn out my secondary let me uh, stop this from running I completely burn out my secondary of my transformer this is the transformer that I was using on the grid so I can drive the DC to DC converters to run all my pulse motors it is a pretty small transformer it's around yeah, I think 50 or 60 uh, watt maximum but yeah I was pushing it around 90 uh, 90 uh, watt so uh, it says like 50 percent more and I really didn't realize it so I completely burned it out of here I have ordered a new one of course not a 60 watt one uh, a 150 watt one so I was pushing my pulse mode to get more RPM anyway so I hope I can uh, I will receive this new transformer of mine uh, maybe Tuesday or Wednesday the moment I have that I will start making videos on testing the coils again because I have everything done already everything is waiting for me just to move on just update and that also hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching